Vaccination will protect each of us. At the same time, it will help protect our loved ones. The more uh, people get vaccinated, the lower the risk of uh, big outbreaks from occurring. And this in turn will protect those who are not recommended now for vaccination. These include people who are less than 16 years old, those who are pregnant, and those with severe immunocompromised conditions. Vaccination will also allow us to resume social activities much more quickly and to further reopen our economy. When I had uh, my vaccination three days ago, the actual injection was painless because the needle was very fine. Then on the same day, I had some soreness in the arm and then the next day I had uh, some headache. Uh, but now, uh, three days after the vaccination, I feel perfectly well. So for most of us who go in for vaccination, we should expect some mild side effects, usually pain and soreness in the arm, a bit of tiredness, headache. Some people get fever, but usually they just last for one, two or three days. One of the things that we look out for is severe allergic reactions. This is uh, rare. In the vaccine rollout uh, that has occurred around the UK and US, about 11 per 1 million people might get uh, severe allergic side effects. But besides that, the rates of uh, serious side effects is very, very low. Individuals who are vaccinated are monitored for half an hour at the vaccination site. The vaccination site has all the facilities and medications ready to deal with a severe allergic reaction and uh, the staff are trained to react very quickly so as to minimise the risk. So both Pfizer and Moderna have come forward to say that their vaccines continue to be effective against the variants that have been seen in the UK and South Africa. We are continuing to monitor this very carefully as additional studies are being done and as uh, more data comes out in the coming weeks. Vaccination will be rolled out progressively, but initially because supplies will be limited, there will have to be prioritisation. And the priority groups will be healthcare workers, people who are frontline responders, as well as those people in essential services. We will also be able to vaccinate the elderly beginning from end January of 2021. When your turn comes, you will receive an invitation letter to come forward for vaccination. So please do look out for that letter and if you have any queries, you can consult this website or call this number. And if everything goes well, we expect to be able to offer vaccination to everyone in Singapore before the end of 2021.